What's up homies? I am TV here. I hope you're doing fine. In today's video, we'll try to fix the Sony T2 Ultra boot loop problem. This is my wife's phone for so long, though SIM card is no longer working. I just use it to play PS1 games using emulator, watch movies, and play music. It's a great phone to use, huge screen, great camera, but it has only 8GB internal storage. And that's the reason why I installed Super SU. I encountered this boot loop problem after I installed Super SU and tried to free some apps, removing the boot loop app installed on the internal storage. After that, it's just keep on restarting and restarting and restarting. After many hours of searching, I was able to find the solution for this problem and I'm gonna share it with you. First, you need to download the T2 Ultra Stock Room. Mine is model D5303. Click the link below and it will open a new tab then download once you've downloaded it extract the file you'll see two folder open first the flash tool folder and install the flash tool app after you install the app go to drive c and open the flash tool folder Once you're in the flash tool folder, run the flash tool.exe, wait for it to finish loading. Once loading is done, click flash device and choose flash mode, then OK. Locate the file that you've downloaded a while ago. Select the firmware folder, then click OK. On the left panel, click the arrow to show the files until the last one. No need to check anything. Once you're ready, click flash. Now you need to connect your phone to your desktop. Before you connect it, make sure you press or hold the volume down button. Then connect your phone. Before you connect it, make sure you press or hold the volume down button, then connect your phone. My advice is to use cable tie to hold the volume down button. Because the installation is 5 to 10 minutes, once you accidentally release the volume button, it will prop an error. You need to start all over again. That's the reason why you need to let something to hold on the volume down button. But if you can hold it more than 10 minutes, you don't need to do this. I already show you what to do, now we'll do it actual. Like I said a while ago, open the flash tool.exe, then choose flash device on the upper left, then select flash mode. To create the file that you downloaded a while ago, just select the firmware folder, then click OK. Again, on the left panel, click the arrow to show the files until the last one. No need to check anything. Once you're ready, click Flash. And it will automatically detect your device. It will take uh, 5 to 10 minutes to finish the process. And now we're done. Let's go back to the phone and let's wait for it to finish loading the apps again. And there you go, we're successfully reinstalled the stock flash home. Uh, I didn't lose any files by doing that. We just reloaded the stock room for this device and there you have it so please don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, click that notification bell see you again on my next video i will try to install custom rom yanchi 5.1 so again see you on my next video as my saying goes stay safe god bless peace